for playing uh, left position on the top spawn of slums or also uh, the mercenary spawn. Um, so typically uh, you're always as torque on this side of the map as the left player and off the break or off the beginning of the game I'll come up over here and I typically start by playing behind a dumpster here. Um, this allows you know you to have a lot of cover and you're able to cover this entire um, choke point here. You're able to see the players that kind of hug the wall back here. Things you need to watch out for though are guys that actually come up and pop out a little closer on top of this crate here. Um, but I'll usually start the game here and then at times I'll transition to over here behind the van and then even at other times I'll come all the way right here and play in the corner and kind of play it at like a 90 degree angle. Um, this is something I would only use, you know, rarely, maybe get a kill, maybe two, um, and then you're going to want to move. Because <clears throat> once they figure out you're there, they'll start turning the corner and pre-firing you. But it does work at times because they're used to getting shot from, you know, more over at those other angles. Um, so this is a good change up at times. Um, if you are going to play this, make sure you let your left support player know that you're playing at this kind of angle. Um, that way, if he is playing, let's say, like, over here or something, uh, you're not letting those guys move up, you know, where you can't actually see them, and then they shoot your left support player. Uh, so communication between you and your left support player is pretty important over here. Um, and a couple other things I'll do. Another cute spot over here is if you actually play under the dumpster here. Um, you can see the choke point as well. What you can't see, though, however, are people that come up the stairs and come up right here. Um, you're not going to be able to see them because you're only going to be able to see, uh, if you noticed when I was aiming in, uh, the, your view is kind of cut off at like this height. So you'll see anybody that goes by here, you're not, you know, even if he comes up here and then runs this way, you're going to see him and you're going to have shots at his, uh, his feet. And you'll definitely be able to see players from over here. It's great for guys sneaking up this way. Um, things you do need to be careful about, though, again, are like this crate. Um, so, again, let, let your left support player know you're playing that or that you're, you know, cutting it off in such a way where you can't see this because he can come up here and he can literally be right here. You won't see him. And if your left support player is right there in the open, he's going to get a kill on him and your left support player is going to be pretty upset. So, um, another thing to look out for, though, too, are people that just kind of come around jump shotting or trying to, you know, sprint through here really fast. Uh, obviously, as the game goes on and they're figuring out kind of what we're doing, um, there are going to be more players trying to get through this gap faster, um, so that angle becomes a little more difficult to play. So typically, I'll play this spot under the dumpster pretty early on when they're not catching on yet. Um, also, another big thing is players using rune um, will actually grapple through this opening, and there's no way you're going to see them at all. You'll, you'll hear it, but you're not going to be able to see them. So just keep a lookout for that. A um, couple other things I'll do on the left. Uh, if I feel like they're catching on to me over here and they're used to me being on this side of the map or this side of the, the entryway, I'll have uh, I'll ask my left support player to cover this somehow. And then once he communicates that he's watching it, then I'll come into the actual garage here and I'll, I'll change it up a little bit. I'll play in here and I'll kind of focus more right here. I'll play here at times. Uh, again, you never want to sit in the same spot for very long on this side of the map. Uh, the angles are not the ones in which you can kind of just sit there the whole game. Um, and they will they will pre-fire you to death over here. Um, but I'll play over here at times. Uh, I'll also go ahead and what I want to, especially right now, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start putting barbed wire up in uh, like this entryway. That way if I do miss a player, I know I'm at least keeping him from getting into the, the alleyway back here and I'm limiting them to the building itself. So when we're going back through and we're clearing this or if I, you know, hey, I missed a guy, my left support player can find this player way easier knowing that he can't be over there. So um, again, I use torque over here, so make sure to utilize it. You know, if you want to come over here, set up your shield right here and then play from like behind here, you know, go for it. That's why you're playing as torque. It's to give you more options to hold this down because you are in a really crucial spot. Uh, you're the only player watching this. You do have that left support guy to help, but 
your job, you know, you're the only guy doing the primary job over here. So, um, trying to think, that's pretty much everything over here. Uh, if we do happen to go into uh, into the courtyard and we push aggressive, what we'll do is, or what I'll do at you know at this left position is, we'll take the courtyard itself. So we got to clear the courtyard, and then either me or the left support player will take the left entrance choke point right here, or the choke point in the center right here. It just kind of depends on who gets in here first uh, and who can set up quicker. Um, I think more times than not, when I'm playing left over here and we push aggressive, I end up being the, the left player, the left aggressive player as well. So uh, a couple spots, you know, over here are behind the van, pretty solid spot, behind the half wall right here. Um, at times, sometimes I'll do this. I'll go prone right here and play it from this angle. Um, you can obviously play from over here as well. I'll, I'll kind of come sneak over here by the bench um, just make sure you're looking for this guy sneaking in the back because now they can be at two angles, the farther back angle and the front angle. Um, and then I'll also come up here and play here as well. Uh, lots of different ways you can play this, um, but those are just a few ideas for you. And again, since you are the torque player as the left player, uh, if you do get your equipment up once again, you know, a good spot to put it would be right up here. You know, that way you can either play behind it and use it as cover, but also cut off this entry point with the actual microwave part of the shield. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's left position, uh, top side of spawns. Uh, just keep a lookout for more videos to come. Uh, a lot more player position, player position specifics. I think I, I screwed that up. Player position specific videos. There we go. Uh, coming soon. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.